What's up, folks? Max here, back with some new info and a lot of details that have popped up over the past couple of days regarding Killer Instinct Season 2. Of course, Season 2 has not had a lot of details. We actually still have not seen a lot of what has to offer outside of TJ, his stage, and that Maya is going to be making an appearance. It more seems like Season 2 is going to start off rather small, and we actually got a confirmed date of when TJ is going to make his so-called appearance, although it's a little freaking weird. Um, of course, this video is talking about the physical release of Killer Instinct on Xbox One. That's right, it's actually the thing that the majority of people, including myself, have wanted for the longest time. I think, even thinking back to when the game was coming out, I was kind of really disappointed hearing that KI was going to be only a digital game. And especially back when Xbox One had all those crazy policies and stuff like that, that seemed like a huge bummer that you have to be online to play KI. Luckily, that went away. But the whole effort of having to be online to get a fighting game kind of always really bugged me because fighting games are supposed to be easy and accessible. And I know if you want to play it online, you already have to be, but I felt that if the game existed in some other way than in literal code on the internet, it might be pretty helpful. Um, what we don't know exactly is whether or not this is going to be a disc inside the box. Sometimes you'll get these releases of like digital games and they pretty much come with a download code and you just go ahead and download the game. And the box version is only made for people that can just kind of like see the game on store shelves and go out and get a copy. Although I think that's really important, I think the whole point behind Killer Instinct is that you can just play it with a disc and update it and it just goes. But a lot of people are pretty upset about this disc release. There's a couple other stipulations that come with it regarding the actual release of this thing, and it's mostly that the game is going to come releasing on September 23rd. We're going to get this big beautiful box, and if I can actually talk about the cover art really soon, I really like it. I love the mixtures of reds and blues. I, I don't know, something about me just loves the way that those two colors collide with each other, and not purple, but when you see them separately, it looks really good. That holy crap, the, the thing that I hate about the cover the most, even though it's like, its purpose, is the fact that it's got this big TJ bonus fighter included, and it says combo breaker pack at the top, I hate it. If it just said Killer Instinct flat out, and it just had the characters, that would be the greatest thing ever. I do hope they release a poster or something we can possibly buy from this, because if there's one thing Killer Instinct fans love after not having video games for like 17 years is the fact that we didn't get anything else. There's no cool toys, there's no awesome t-shirts, there's no anything else like that, and the efforts through Penny Arcade and the stuff they have done is really cool, but this is kind of awesome. This is the stuff I'm looking for. I'm pretty much going to buy it just for the fact that I can have a box copy of Killer Instinct, and I don't know if I'm going to open it because of this bonus fighter included. This thing is launching on September 23rd. TJ Combo is going to be a part of it, and a lot of people are upset because they think the only way that you get to play TJ Combo early is if you buy the physical copy of KI. And I don't think this is the case. We're still waiting on details and information to pop up from the guys at Iron Galaxy, from Microsoft, regarding the release of this disc. But even so, I did hear some tweets and read some stuff from Alex DeBailey, one of the community guys, who didn't say anything directly, but said there will be other ways that you can get TJ if you already have KI. And they didn't say what it is exactly, so I wouldn't be too worried that you have to go, that you're forced to buy this physical disc just to play TJ combo a little early. And I kind of like that there's sort of soft launching Season 2, it looks like. Um, for, for the most part, we don't know how Season 2 is actually going to happen. I was presuming that we're going to get something similar, like six characters, and then flap, it just goes up. But I think what they're really hinting at now is that Season 2 is going to kind of soft launch. It's not going to have everything. We, I hope we get some balance changes. I hope we get some of the adjustments to the system of KI overall earlier than the future characters. I'd hope that that stuff is implemented first before all the characters make it into the game, especially for TJ Combo and stuff like that. So I do I do think that's a good idea to soft launch it, to let everyone get their hands on TJ to try to like demo and test out all the new balances because we know stuff is going to be broken it, with fighting games. Things are always kind of weird when they, when they get adjusted, so they'll have time to fix that stuff and then launch all the characters. I hope that is what's happening. But September 23rd is the official launch date of Combo, but still people were pretty pissed because this is, this doesn't even include the Ultra Edition. It's just the Combo breaker pack of KI. It doesn't have all the costumes, it doesn't have like the alternates, all the accessories and all that stuff that came with the $40 edition of the game. We don't even know if it has Shadow Jago as a skin on there. But 
the thing is, I, I understand that, and that makes sense. I'd much prefer the physical game to have everything, because this is literally a duplicate of what's available online, but you get a box. But this is not actually made for us. Um, the more I looked into it and understood that the Xbox One is actually launching in like 40 other countries right around the same time frame. It's actually launching across the world and not just where we saw the launch, because Xbox One had a limited launch when it debuted late last year. Now everyone's going to have their chance to get the system and everyone's gonna have a chance to get some games and not everyone is gonna have access to the internet easily pretty much what I'm getting at this boxed edition of KI that we're seeing right here isn't especially for the American users and the people that have had Xbox ones and killer instinct for the past over six months it's for everyone else it's for everyone else to actually have a physical copy of the game that cannot readily have internet available and that's really smart because I do feel that having a physical copy on store shelves, identifying that it's there, I can buy it, is a lot better than having to go to a store, plug in the internet, get your system updated. All that stuff kind of bugged me. It really bugged me last year when GameStop was promoting all of their KI, all of their, I'm sorry, Xbox One games, and KI wasn't there. So, I think it's I think it's great for the game. I think it's great for me personally, as a collector of Killer Instinct BS, I, I'm absolutely gonna buy it. I can't help it. But if you guys want to wait, I would suggest that you should probably wait, because this is most likely gonna contain something that you already have or potentially might already have access to and it's really for all those other dudes across the world that are anxiously trying to get their hands on this game it's for them and they seem to be conveniently releasing it in stores in the US as well just because mostly I'm assuming because so many people requested physical versions of Killer Instinct a lot of people just wanted a physical release of some kind just because we love boxes and I can't help it I love boxes too let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. There was a lot of new info that dropped around Killer Instinct Season 2 and what's going to be happening with the future of Season 2 and what we can expect, which will be coming up in a video in about a couple of days. But as always, dudes, thank you very much for the feedback. If you appreciated the video or liked it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. My name is Maximilian, and I'll be back with that Killer Instinct Season 2 news as soon as possible. Take care, folks.